So this is A Prairie Christmas. It started out as a radio show. Most every town that had a radio station usually only had one, and that station had to do a lot of different duties. And one of the duties they would do during Christmas was they would play uh, Christmas music, and there was always one guy that would do that. And in this particular town, his name was Ray Loftusness, and he had a program called Holiday Inn. And then it went from person to person and place to place, and, and now I do it. And what's different about radio is that all of the action takes place in your mind. You listen to a voice, you hear the music, and you are transported to a place in memory. Of course, this is a COVID time we're in. Now we're all isolated from one another. And radio works very well in that place because for well over a hundred years, people who are isolated can feel the community that you get from listening to a person tell stories. I remember when my nephew was about five years old. He was totally into Transformers. You know what they are. Anyway, uh, he had gotten every present as a Transformer, and he was in the groove. And he was so excited because the last get, uh, gift giving was going to be at my dad's house where his dad, my nephew's great grandfather was there and he gave him a present and he was so excited. And he opened it up and he burst into tears because it was a tractor. Well, <laughs> uh, my brother was mortified. He takes him off to the side and kind of gives him a talking to and <sighs> he comes up after that and wipes his cheeks and he goes to my grandfather, his great-grandfather. Thank you for giving me the wrong toy. And I feel like this is a season like getting the wrong toy. This COVID, nobody wanted this toy. It is not at all what we expected. Yet I found something interesting in this gift I didn't want either. In these times of isolation and thought, what is truly important and precious to me, I've been able to think on more. Well, when you get older, people talk about the golden years. What are the golden years? Well, apparently there's some sort of 20-year period where you can uh, play shuffleboard or go in an RV someplace. And, and, you know, maybe you get that. And yet, sadly, sometimes you don't. This is what I've come to understand about the golden years. The golden years don't exist in one 20-year stretch. They are given to you in small moments. And you get one or two each day. But if you don't open up those gifts, they're like leaving them unwrapped under the Christmas tree. Such a waste. Here's just a few I thought of. <laughs> that heart-fluttering moment when you ask that girl out on a date and she pauses, then smiles, and says yes. The crystal clear night when you see the very first snowflakes fall through the moonlight. The quiet ache of kicking your shoes off at the end of the day and relaxing once you're home. The pride a child has at their first paycheck and then they show it to you and ask, who's this FICA and what are they taking my money for? The joke you laughed at this morning but can't remember the punchline. The song you heard on the radio that reminds you of a time long ago. The heart-stopping moments when a little toddler gives you a sticky grin and says, Grandma, think about them. They're everywhere in every day that you live. Enjoy the season you're in.